humans have been fascinated with stars for thousands of years, so it's no surprise that they want to make taller and taller buildings that stretch toward them. The tallest statue in the world is the Spring Temple Buddha is around 28 times that at 128 meters, 420 feet tall. So in this video, we are going to tell you about how high could we build? The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The race is always on. Within the span of just two years, the world's tallest building was built three times in New York City, the 282.5-meter Bank of Manhattan in 1930, the 319-meter Chrysler Building a few months after, and then 11 months later the 381-meter Empire State Building in 1931. The era of architectural horse racing and ego hoosting has only intensified in the decades since. In 2003, the 509 meter Taipei 101 unseated the 452 meter Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur after a seven year reign as the world's tallest. In 2010, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai far surpassed Taipei 101, climbing up to 828 meters. Bold builders in China want to go 10 meters higher later this year with a 220 story prefab tower that can be constructed in a baffling 90 days. And then, in 2018, the Kingdom Tower in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, below, right, will go significantly farther, with a proposed height of at least 1,000 meters. Ask a building professional or skyscraper expert, and they'll tell you there are many limitations that stop towers from rising ever higher. Materials, physical human comfort, elevator technology, and, most importantly, money all play a role in determining how tall a building can or can't go. But surely there must be some physical limitations that would prevent a building from going up too high. We couldn't, for example, build a building that reached the moon because, in scientific terms, the moon hit the building and the building go boom. But could there be a building with a penthouse in space, beyond Earth's atmosphere? The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, a group interested in and focused on the phenomenon of skyscrapers, recently asked a group of leading skyscraper architects and designers about some of the limitations of tall buildings. The responses are compiled in this video and tend to focus on the pragmatic technicalities of dealing with funding in the real estate market or the lack of natural light in wide-based buildings. The predominant problem is in the elevator and transportation system, says Adrian Smith, the architect behind the current tallest building in the world and the one that will soon outrank it, the kilometer-tall Kingdom Tower in Jeddah. But in terms of structural limitations, the ultimate expert is likely William Baker. He's the top structural engineer at Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill, and he worked with Smith on the Burj Khalifa, designing the system that allowed it to rise so high. That system, known as the buttressed core, is a kind of three-winged spear that allows stability, viably usable space, as in not buried deeply and darkly inside a massively wide building and limited loss of space. Baker says the buttressed core design could be used to build structures even taller than the Burj Khalifa. We could go twice that or more, he says. And though he calls skyscraper design a fairly serious undertaking, he also thinks that it's totally feasible to build much taller than even the Kingdom Tower. Incredibly, this huge pyramid was the tallest thing humans had ever built for 3,881 years. Beating that out by just a dozen or so meters was the Lincoln Cathedral, built in 1311 in England. At 160 meters, 524 feet, it was the tallest building until 1884 when the Washington Monument was built. At 169 meters, 555 feet, this huge structure was only the tallest for a short period of time. Well, the current tallest building is the Burj Khalifa, at a remarkable 830 meters, 2,722 feet. This building dwarfs everything built before it. It would take you a massive 20 seconds to fall from the top of the building to the ground. But that's not the limit. Hypothetically, we can go much taller. In theory, there really isn't a maximum height, however, you would need to keep expanding the base to support the weight on the lofty top of the structure. But logically, because Earth is a sphere, this obviously doesn't work in real life. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel 
stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.